It's a race against time, a new sporting ground nearing completion in Seaside Black Rock. Located in northern Tobago, the workers here knowing how critical it is for them to complete this job. And the flurry of activity that we see here today is absolutely necessary because in three days' time on Saturday morning at 10, England will face off against Rwanda and Kenya will face off against Bermuda. The first two games of the volleyball competition being the real test of these new courts. It's been like this for the past few days, transforming an empty space into an international arena that only a few days ago looked nothing like this. These shots made available through the Tobago Task Force for the games taken earlier this week, when the sand was just being laid down. We have our into the main court, court one and court two, and also into the practice court. The sand itself has been imported from abroad, brought to Tobago just days ago, but the organizers say it has been planned this way. Not everything has the same degree of urgency. You don't cut the grass on the field a week before we're going to go back in time for the game. So there are things that are scheduled, activities that are scheduled that need to take place between now and later now. But the sand is now here. The Trinidad and Tobago team had a little knock around on the sand yesterday. Last night we had quite a time chasing um, stray dogs, some testing it. So we show that is sand because if it attract one or two stray dogs, had to be is good sand. The buzz is not just in Black Rock though. The Trinidad and Tobago netball team has been busy preparing at the refurbished netball facility located inside the Shaw Park Sporting Complex. Theirs is the world to conquer and the people of Tobago have been spending time to make sure they get the type of support they need. A total of 31 countries are being represented at the Games, some like South Africa, already here, others due in the coming days. Assistant Secretary for Sport, Community and Youth Development is certain the people of Tobago too will benefit from all the activity. We always insist that the Tobagoans, the people in this space, be a part of everything so they could be a part of the beneficiaries. The pulse of it all is taking place at Shaw Park, where Commonwealth and local committee officials have been prepping to have everything ready over the final days to the start of the event. Fine-tuning preparations for the many facilities that will be involved as well, from Buko to Pigeon Point, a tournament they hope will not just put the teams on display, but all of Tobago as well. Relax. For CNC3 Sport in Tobago, I'm Samson Anton.